Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of these given logarithmic expressions. And I will show you two different ways to evaluate these given problems. So sit back and relax and see how I proceed. In this video, we will cover part two, second method, X method. To watch the part one, please click on the card above or wait till the end of this video. Here it is, once again, very first example, log of 27 with a base of 9. And I am going to put this log equals to x and we will find the value of x. And now we want to convert this logarithmic equation to an exponential one and we will be using this rule as you can see over here. Let's apply this rule. This rule states that we have this base 9 power x is always equal to 27. Let's go ahead and write down 9 power x equals to 27 and that is our exponential form. Now let's look at this on the left hand side this base 9. 9 could be written as 3 power 2 so I can write 3 power 2 and then power x and on this right hand side 27 could be written as 3 power 3. And now on the left hand side we have repeated exponents 2 and x by using this power rule we can write this one as 3 power 2 x equal to 3 power 3. And now we can see that our base is same on both sides so in that case we can equate our exponents so I can write 2x equal to 3. Let's go ahead and write down 2x equal to 3. Let's solve for x. Divide both sides by 2. So x turns out to be 3 over 2. So thus the value turns out to be 3 over 2 and that is our answer. And here is our next example. We are going to find the value of log of 9 with the base 27 and let's set this thing equal to x and we will eventually find the value of x and now this is our logarithmic equation and we want to convert it into an exponential equation so therefore we will be using this rule over here to convert from logarithmic equation to an exponential one so let's go ahead and apply that rule our base is 27 and power this is going to become power x and that is equal to 9 that means I can write this 27 power x equal to 9 and that is our exponential equation now let's look at this base on the left hand side 27 could be written as 3 power 3 so I can write 3 power 3 and then power x and on the right hand side 9 could be written as 3 power 2. And now as we can see that we have a two repeated exponents 3 and x and now by using this power rule I can just simply multiply them so I can write this one 3 power 3x equal to 3 power 2 and now as we can see that our base is same on both side as long as the base is same on the both side we can equate our exponent as well so this could be written as 3x equal to 2. So I can write that one 3x equal to 2. Let's go ahead and solve for x. We're going to divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be 2 third. Thus our x value turns out to be 2 third and that is our answer. And here is our next example and we are going to evaluate log of 1 eighth with a base 2 and let's set this one equals to x 
and we will eventually find the value of x. And now we can see that this is an, in logarithmic equation and we want to convert it into exponential 1. And here is the rule that we are going to convert from logarithmic form to an exponential form. So let's go ahead and apply this rule over here. We know that our base is 2. Then you're going to do this thing. 2 power this x is always going to be equal to 1 eighth. Let's go ahead and write it down. So we can write 2 power x equal to 1 over 8. And we can see that is this is our exponential form. And let's focus on this right hand side 1 over 8. I just copy it down over here. 8 could be written as denominator could be written as 1 over this 8 could be written as 2 power 3. And if I move this 2 power 3 on the top, that is going to become 2 power negative 3. So therefore, this right hand side could be written as 2 power negative 3. And on the side, left hand side, we have a 2 power x. And now as we can see that our base on both sides is same, which is 2. As long as the base is same, then we can equate our exponent as well. So x is going to be equal to negative 3. So therefore I can write x equal to negative 3 as our value. Thus x equal to negative 3 is our final answer. And here is our next example. We are going to evaluate log of 16 with a base 1 fourth. And the very first step is we are going to set this one equal to x and we will eventually find the value of x. And as we can see that this is an logarithmic equation and we want to convert it into an exponential equation. So we are going to use this rule, this from logarithmic form to an exponential one. So if we apply this rule, we can write this one fourth, which is our base power x equals to 16. Let's go ahead and write down one fourth, then power x equal to 16. Now let's focus on this one fourth on the left hand side. I have just copied it down over here, one over four. And this four at the denominator could be written as four power one. And I can write this four power one. If I move it on the top, that is going to become four power negative one. So therefore, this left hand side could be written as 4 power negative 1 and then power x equal to and then 16 on the right hand side could be written as 4 power 2. Now as we can see we have a two exponents repeated exponents negative 1 and x we're going to be using this power rule and we can multiply them so I can write this one as 4 power negative 1 times x is going to become negative x equal to 4 power 2. As we can see now, we have the same base on both sides, which is 4. As long as we have the same base on both sides, we can equate our exponent as well. So negative x is going to be equal to 2. Let's go ahead and write down negative x equal to 2. That means x is going to be negative 2. Thus x equal to negative 2 is our final answer. And here is our next example. We are going to evaluate log of 7 with a base 49. And let's set this one equal to x. And we will eventually find the value of x. As we can see that this is a logarithmic equation and we want to convert it into an exponential 1. And here's the rule that we're going to apply. We're going to convert it from logarithmic form to an exponential form. 
So let's go ahead and apply that rule over here. 49 is our base. We are going to put base this power x equals to 7. Let's write it down. 49 power x equal to 7. And we can see that this is in exponential form. And now let's focus on 49. 49 could be written as 2, 7 power 2, isn't it? So I can write 7 power 2 and then power x equal to 7 could be written as 7 power 1. Now as we can see that we have a two repeated exponents, 2 and x, we're going to be using this power rule and we can simply by using this rule we can write this thing 7 power 2 times x is going to become 2x equal to 7 power 1. And as we can see over here that our base is same on both sides, which is 7. As long as the base is same, we can equate our exponent as well. So I can write 2x equal to 1. So let's go ahead and write down 2x equal to 1. We want to isolate x. We're going to divide both sides by 2. So x turns out to be 1 over 2. And here x equal to 1 over 2 is our final answer. And here is our final example. We are going to evaluate log of 25 with a base 5. Let's set this thing equal to x and we will eventually find the value of x. As we can see that this equation is an, in logarith logarithmic form and we want to convert it into an exponential 1. And here's the rule that we're going to apply. We want to convert it from logarithmic form to an exponential form. So let's go ahead and apply that rule over here. Our base is 5. So 5 power x is going to be equal to 25. Let's go ahead and write down 5 power x equals to 25. And this one is in exponential form. So now we have got 5 power x equal to, now this 25 could be written as 5 power 2. And as we can see that we have the same base on both sides, which is 5. As long as the base is same, we can equate our exponent as well. So x could be written as 2. So thus I can write x equal to 2. Thus x equal to 2 is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.